All right, Brianna, thank you so much. Well, he's an original reality star from my home state of Kentucky. He rose to fame on the real world Los Angeles and used that to jumpstart a country music career. It felt like destiny for my former youth pastor until it wasn't. We met up along Broadway after decades apart, crisscrossing the country to talk country and catch up. This is the true story of the return of John Brennan. What's it been, buddy? 20 years? More. Oh, I can't believe it, man. How are you? you? just got off TV. You look great, man. I know, man. You look amazing. Good to see Good you, to man. See You're a big TV man. star. Come You're on. The big TV star. You're the original. You're the OG. It was before social media predates reality TV as you know it today. It's the real world, and it was really big. Nashville's where it all began for this Kentucky native. I always come back because this is where I want to be. His life changed in 1993, not far from where we are. I was a freshman at Belmont University with big dreams of being a country music star, and that's when MTV said, we need a country guy. Alan Jackson and Garth Brooks were blowing up the charts. But Brennan, as the conservative Christian cowboy from Kentucky, stopped being polite and started getting real, gaining fame each week on cable TV. Brennan never went back to Belmont. I started touring and opening for big, big acts. I opened for Alabama, Tim McGraw, George Jones. Capitol Records came calling. Brennan had a label. He'd made it, or so he thought. Like a country music song about heartbreak, it fell apart fast. My manager, who was managing Winona Judd at the time, uh, got drunk and cussed me out. Uh, my booking agent, who was Garth Brooks' booking agent, had a heart attack and suddenly died, like suddenly, unexpectedly, and the record label dropped me. The dream was dead, but as in the Bible, where Brennan's faith is placed, he resurrected his music career in the church. It's where we first met and worshiped together in Kentucky. After stops in Alabama, Florida, and even East Africa, after the death of his dad, and 25 years out of country music that Christian Cowboy felt a calling. And I said, uh, no, you, you ain't done singing yet. And I thought, write that song. He did. <laughs> well, if you feel me, if you're with me, if you feel that fire burning and he ain't done living. He did it for his dad, but also himself, because he ain't done with that dream. On to regret. No matter where my ministry or my travels took me over the last 25 years, I was always thinking, but if I could get back to Nashville, if I could just record a great song, then it might all happen for me again. But I don't have no regrets. The real world for Brennan now is driving Uber to help make ends meet while he waits for that next big break. I ain't done singing yet. People get in my truck and they go, wow, a truck, and I say, you're in Nashville and your driver's from Kentucky. While reality fame is fleeting and Nashville's changed a lot in three decades, it's fun for him when fans still recognize the big country boy from MTV who's not done with that boyhood dream. And they're like, I feel like I know you. You're from the real world. I'm like, yeah, they're like, where would you like to go? They're like, I want to go hear you sing. I'm like, well, there'll be a day. I ain't done singing yet. And that day is almost here. Brennan and his label will be performing a free show at Whiskey Bend Saloon here on Broadway tomorrow at 4 p.m. He'd love to have you come out and hear his new music. He's doing so well, and uh, it's so exciting that he's playing here during CMA Fest this week, Amy. And mm -hmm. forgive me if I'm a little bit emotional. John yeah. helped lead me to Christ 20 years ago, and oh. I said, dude, the least I can do is tell your story and how you're back in country music right where he belongs. And, you know, I, I have met John years ago, and I'm telling you, he, I mean, a, as great of a singer he, as he is, he, he's the, one of the best Christian men, I think, I, I, as I know you know. Um, and we just wish him all the best. Yes, and guess what, Amy? He's going to be performing live here in our 6 o'clock hour with I Ain't Done Singing Yet, so stick around for that coming up here in a couple of hours. Awesome. Look forward to it, Ben. Great story.